Hi everyone, Sam is David here with another Fresh Bread. Uh, excited to share this time with you and thanks for letting me into your space. Um, going to have a little thought to inspire you and then we have uh, in the key of G today. Some music. So I've um, been sharing with uh, you over the last several weeks um, that I'm going through a little season and I, I'm i sharing this because I, th I think it will help th those of you who are either in it or maybe heading into it in the in the next while. Um, something I've been praying about for, for many, many years and God is bring bringing me into it now. Um, and I'm start starting to see the full fulfillment and a little bit of the promised land. But they are giants. So I just want to read that pa um, passage for you. It's Numbers chapter 13, uh, verse 27. Then they told him and said, We went to the land where you sent us. It truly, it flows with milk and honey. So this is this, uh, the spies who were sent in to see the land that God had promised them. All right. They're going to see the land. God had, had told them, send men to spy out the land of Canaan, which I am giving to the children of Israel. Now, th this is the whole reason he brought them out of Egypt. Through the Red Sea, um, they've had a, a, a year to God to set up things like his laws and his rules and how he likes to live with his people. And he's shown them miracle after miracle. And now he's bringing them into their land and Everybody knows it's a land that flows with milk and honey. So he says, send in the spies to see out this, spy out this land that I'm going to give you. Right, so the spies come back. So this is what they say. They told him, we went to the land where you sent us. Truly, it flows with milk and honey. This is its fruit. Nevertheless, the people who dwell in the land are strong. The cities are fortified and very large. Moreover, we saw the descendants of Anak there. So, uh, 400 years in Egypt, God brings you out. You're going to a land of milk and honey. You're going to worship him. It's your, your own land. It's your promised land. But there are cities there, <laughs> very large ones, fully fortified. And they are giants, the descendants of Anak that we only had heard stories of. Now we've seen them. They are giants there. How exactly is God going to give us this land? We can't overcome them. We, we don't have strength. We, we've seen God's miracles. But these are giants. And this is supposed to be our promised land. I mean, this is supposed to be a walk in and take it and enjoy the promised land. You've suffered all of the. This is supposed to be it. And um, this is what you meet. So some some of us figure, uh, you know, simple, go in and take it, but it's a it's a whole mental process. You 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 have to fight a mental battle first. There are some big giants there, man. You 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 have to pick up yourself again and get get ready to deal with something big, bigger than you've ever dealt with. And although this this was promised to you, and God is giving it to you, He says send the spies out to look at the land that I'm giving to the children of Israel. The whole mental proposition of going up against a big fight for your own land. So that's kind of where I'm at. And um, kind of say, God, is, is, is this really your promised land? Have, have I missed it? Um, uh, is is this a case where I, I step and I know you're, you're going to give me this victory? Or uh, is, is there going to be a, a little bit more circling and, until the time is right and then we take the whole land? Or uh, what, what is my, how, how do I line up my thoughts? What, what's my, my, my expectation here? So maybe there's some, somebody else in the same season. And um, uh, let's pray for each other. <laughs> but really... Um, the giants must not deter you. The, you 
cannot look at the fortified cities and say, oh, well, I must have missed it. Maybe it's not here. Maybe there's a, a little bit more in journey, and then I will get to my promised land with milk and honey, because it's supposed to be milk and honey. There, There's no mention of giants and cities to be overcome and large cities that are well fortified. This, this is not part of the program, right, God? And maybe it is. Maybe it is. But the same God who brought you out of Egypt, who showed you miracle after miracle, who took you across the Red Sea, who drowned your enemies, who's brought you to the brink of your promised land, maybe he, he didn't want to tell you that because it would have dis discouraged you in the beginning and you would have stayed in Egypt. <laughs> so your, your promised land is not Egypt. And uh, there, there may be a fight to enter in and to keep it, um, something that is outside of your skill set. Because remember, the children of Israel hadn't had any big battles. Didn't They weren't war-tested, battle-ready. I mean, they, they couldn't handle swords. So to, to tell them they're going to go up against fortified cities and men of war and huge men of war <laughs> um, is not a comforting thing. But you, you have to know that the same God who brought you through the rest, who has told you it is your land, who has promised you this thing, somehow he's going to get you through. And you're going to possess something far bigger and better than you've ever had in your whole life. I'm speaking to myself here. <laughs> you got to understand. <laughs> so may you be blessed as I am blessed. And let us meditate as the harp plays. Um... Let, let God speak his faith into us because it, 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 it's going to take faith. It, this, this isn't like the things we've had bef before. Um, this, this is a big one, um, but it's going to be the entry into a promised land. So keep the faith and let's be strong. Be strong today. Let's go into our promised land. <laughs>